YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe, click the like button, really, really appreciate it and press the notification bell. Um, you're going to know when those videos are coming out and they do sometimes come thick and fast. So, uh, <laughs> well, I am like a kid in a sweet shop today. Um, What's going on, you say? Well, um, I've uh, recently, thanks to some of my uh, YouTube friends and channels that I watch and follow, um, they've inspired me. And uh, one of them is Rob at Weekend Shed Head. And another is uh, uh, some other stuff as well, but particularly Rob at Weekend Shed Head. What I've started doing is searching and now buying um, vintage woodworking tools. Um, you'll go, oh, 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 that's a bit different. And it's certainly different. And, and the reason I'm excited is because I used these tools back when I was a boy and particularly when I was working for my granddad and my dad. And before lots of modern tools actually came out. And you say, well, you're not that old, are you? No, nah, of course I'm not. I'm only 25. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm 57. But um <laughs> 25. See how long yet yeah, that one that one will last. <laughs> well you've uh, you know age? Age? Who cares about age? It's about how you feel, isn't it? I'm not gonna go there with the other quotes on there. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm going off on one. Um Yes, vintage tools. Now, it takes me back to being in my granddad's workshop and he had also a workshop at the end of his garden. And what have I got? I bring my granddaughter in here. She's only four at the minute. And she says, Grampy, can we go and do some building? And I go, of course we can, darling. Of course we can. And she comes in here and she does some building. And we just bang things and, and we make a few little silly little things. Love it. Well, I started doing that when I was tiny with my granddad and I'm now getting some tools that I used to use and I haven't had them I've long since gotten rid of them or um or they've just disappeared and uh I've been getting excited about that so uh, uh this is a lot of preamble about old tools isn't it but I love it and I know lots of you out there do so we are going to do uh, 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 I've got a few things coming up and I'm buying uh, uh, quite a few little old vintage tools. I'm not restoring them. This is not restoration. I've got some ideas around using vintage tools. So I'm going to do something on my channel that's going to come up with be a little bit different, something new, always looking for new angles, new things to do on the channel to add interest. And so that's what this is going to be. But this morning, I'm saying this morning, it's this afternoon. <laughs> I'm actually in the afternoon here at the moment. I'm going to do an unboxing of uh, of a classic, a few classic tools that I or used to use. And so that's where we're going to go with. So we have just, I've just taken off the uh, the tape, I've undone the tape. What we've got, we've got quite a lot of packaging in here, haven't we? What have I got? Well, anyone know from that? One. And there we go, we've got, is there anything more in there? Is there anything more? No, it's just paper, right. We are going to, we are going to unwrap those. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Right, we have three, one, two, three that are working <clears throat> reasonably well, two that are not. So we've got three there, three Yankee. These are Yankee screwdrivers. In case any of you are wondering, the Yankee screwdrivers. Um, and I forget the the serial number. We've got the big one or a bigger one there and a couple of normal sizes. There's also a much smaller one that used to be. I used to use particularly these. I used to use, I always have a Yankee screwdriver. And in the days before, um, electric screwdrivers, um, these were what we all used. I fitted many kitchens using these. Anyway, we're going to get into them a little bit more. 
So there's gonna be some of you out there, I know, because I know you've got channels around vintage tools and all sorts of things. So gonna be some of you out there that can really help me on this. Um, I used to use these all the time. Um, that was what I grew up with. Um, before electric screwdrivers, before, have I got any round easy? Well, I've got some up there. Uh, before my electric screwdrivers, which I was having a discussion uh, with uh, Rob from Weekend uh, Shedhead and Doug from Doug from uh, Fleet's Woodshop over in Houston, Texas. And we were having a, you know, if you haven't seen the video, go and check out uh, uh, that video where uh, Rob and myself sort of interview and we have a basically have a chat it's more of a chat really not really an interview we uh, we 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 invited Rob over to have a, have a YouTube uh, discussion with us anyway I'm talking about another video but go and check it out over on over on the weekend shedhead talking to uh where was I going with that completely lost my train of thought <laughs> there are lots of you out there that um know this stuff lots of you out there and look at that ah i know where i was going with that i realized why i was thinking about doug doug and i had <laughs> doug and i senior moment senior moment <laughs> uh, doug and i had a discussion and i said to doug i think the first uh uh electric screwdrivers were made by Makita around about 84, where they first came out uh, into in more generalised use. That's when I was start to be uh, first exposed to them, about 1984, the early 80s, somewhere around there. And I said Makita, and he agreed with me, he thinks Makita were one of the first to actually do those type of tools. Someone out there might actually know specifically whether I am right or I'm wrong, as often I am. Anyway, I was always using these before. That's where I was going. I knew my brain was going somewhere. <laughs> so I was using these. So here we are. I've got three that are in pretty good working on. These need a little more lubrication, but it feels like they're working fine. Uh, this one really feels great. This one, as you can see, a little bit of effort to come out. But we can we can clean that up, get rid of some of the crap in there, uh, and get some really good lubrication on that. And I need to look into that. If you please uh, please comment, what's the best lubrication and the best way to clean these up? I'd really really appreciate that. Get them working. Now this one, it's not working. Oh, it's come out of the box, and it's not actually working. Um, it's a bigger one as well, and I was really looking forward to that. I might have to get another one if I can't get this one. But it'd be nice to see if I can restore this. Again, please, uh, if you've got any comments or, or ways to go, this one equally is missing some parts. So uh, whether I can cannibalise this for some of the others or know how. I've never tried to repair a Yankee screwdriver. In the old days, in the olden days, back when the dinosaurs were around and I was making things using... <laughs> I just, you just replaced them. You got another one. I didn't ever repair my Yankee screwdrivers when they stopped working. So I actually don't know how to do that. Maybe that's something I can do, but with your help, I'd really appreciate that. So Yankee screwdrivers, that's what we've got. And uh, there's gonna be more stuff coming on this channel around vintage tools. I'm gonna to be looking into using these uh, and uh, and doing some comparisons. Uh, so uh, watch out for this. I'm actually going to thinking about doing a vintage versus modern woodworking tool. Vintage versus modern. <laughs> Don't know what you think about that, but I'm gonna put some vintage uh, 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 tools up against their modern equivalent. Now, obviously, it's going to be a lot, lot quicker with modern and more precise, isn't it? But it isn't always about that, is it? Speed, as we know, certainly I know at my age, speed isn't everything. <laughs> speed isn't everything. So, <laughs> sometimes slow is good and better. Anyway, go where you want with that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming up on the channel. I'm going to be sort of looking into that and maybe doing some, th some sort of vintage versus modern. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. I'm certainly going to, I think I'm going to do that, but uh, I'd love to, love to have you on board with that. So, uh, <laughs> so that's my unboxing of some classic old 
Yankee screwdrivers. I used to love them and I still do. And I'm, I'm like super excited to have these. Really excited. <laughs> They're so much slower to use and so old fashioned, but there's something about old retro tools, isn't there? So if you'd like to see more of this stuff on my channel, please give me a thumbs up comments below all of that stuff would really really appreciate it so uh, so from me mark at the small workshop adventures take care everybody bye